So pop that just back in there. Hello and welcome back to Agali. So we're just getting the baler ready. We're going to bale this straw. It's had a day or two's drying out. Uh, not a lot's changed here. We've taken our big trailer of grain and to solve that. Um, I'm actually off to go and get the combine now because it's going to the farmer that was helping us out and he's going to look at repairing it. Um, we're going to have to buy all the parts for it. But it's going up there to be repaired. There's it's quite a big job. I've told him he can have it for quite a few weeks because we're practically finished with it now. So we'll just walk across the fields until we get to it and then we can take it for a run. We've actually got someone else to help us out um, who's going to escort us through the roads to his place. Right, so there it is. Still sitting there. So it's perfectly okay to start it up and run it and the road is just not good to engage all the system and try and combine with it now because it won't work. It is totally busted. So we'll get up in here. get this up our long driveway and we should meet the guy up there who's going to be escorting us down the road we've asked him if he can meet us at the top of our drive so I better stop and just check all those beacons and lights are actually working before we go down the road That back beacon is working, yeah, that's on. So we are nearly there. I can see a um, truck up the top. Hopefully we don't get any issues going down the road. Now we make it to our destination. So uh, there he is, flashing lights and wide load. Might take a little bit of getting out of here. We're making our way up the main road now.
So we had quite a queue of traffic behind us. It's quite tight down this lane. Okay, it looks like we're going down here. So this is the farm we're bringing it to down here. To the chap who was helping us in the first episode trying to investigate what the problem was. and it's not the sort of thing we're going to fix but he was quite happy to help out and say, said he'd fix it for probably a bit of a cheaper price than the dealers And we'll get all the lights turned out. And turn it off. Right. So there you go. I'll um, leave it with you. Thanks very much for helping. Uh, just let me know what you're going to need for it or whatever. So I think the guy that escorted us down here is going to give us a lift back to the farm. So he can drop us back there and we can get bailing that field of straw. Right, so he's just dropped us back at the farm by the house. So. We had got our big Volvo slurry tank out. Um, not sure if we're going to put slurry or manure on that field when we bailed that straw yet. But we've got this beast of a thing. Um, but the first thing to do is get that straw bailed. So we did manage to get rescue the header for the combine with the loader tractor. We managed to lift it on the trailer so we brought that back. So we'll jump in the Voucher and get out there and get bailing. So we'll get this all bailed up soon as we can today um, 
before it rains again. So uh, this is going quite well, considering the straw is still a bit damp. It's going through there quite well. I do like that someone modded this voucher at 8350 in the way they did with the sort of glass green and the silver part of the cab used to drive one exactly like it in real life years ago on the last row that's out here now So we've got that combine up the road to be repaired and we've now finished bailing this field so we'll get these carted and see what's going to happen next we may be slurry or much spread in the next video but that's going to be it for this one so thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you again next time cheers